What's up you guys? We got this old school Northland Gordie Howe pattern number two hockey stick picked up at a thrift shop. Uh, what a find, right? Totally cool. It's got the Gordie Howe signature here on the side. Mr. Hockey. Pretty neat. Uh, the things you'll find out there thrifting around. So we're going to go ahead and uh, restore this bad boy and see if we can't give it some life. We can't do a little restorative action on this spot here and just uh, get her back in action just so she's slightly better shaped than she is and a nice piece of the collection for the Hockey Hall of Fame here around the house. The old Northland Custom Pro established in 1949. Cool stamp here, Haro Sports, Canada. Pretty neat. It also has a serial number on it. So a lot of old tape built up on this guy here. Some of these old tape job. Hopefully it wasn't Gordy Howe's. I don't know. Is this authentic? Could be. Most likely not. It's not a bad little tape job. Is that a Gordy tape job? I don't know. Could be. Same thing here, just taking out this old tape job here, and uh, we're going to start over. Do a little research and uh, see if we can't figure out how Gordy used to tape his old uh, hockey stick. Just bring some life back to this uh, old relic here. Uh, a little treasure underneath the tape job here. Somebody left the uh, sticker on there. $34.99 when purchased fresh. Most likely not by Gordy, but nevertheless pretty cool. Cool to find that under there. Pretty much just uh, stripped down here. All the tape's been taken off the stick. I'll probably wipe it down with some WD-40 or something like that. Something that's not too uh, corrosive. We're gonna have a hard time. Uh, I'll give the stick a hard time. Uh, so something simple there, just to get all the extra old tape glue off. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna get her all stripped down back to square here, pretty quick. But not bad. Thirty-four ninety-nine. It's really just kind of wiping this guy down with that WD-40. It seems to be helping a lot, taking a lot of the, uh, you know, puck marks and the old uh, glue from the from the tape off there. Okay, so if you're just joining us here, we're just uh, getting back to the pattern number two, Gordy Howe Northland uh, Custom Pro Hockey Stick refurbishment. Uh, of course, Northland Custom Pro says established 1949. Uh, they were making sticks for guys like Gordy Howe. Uh, back through the 50s and 60s and 70s and uh, you know you see these guys kind of fading out but this is still a pretty cool piece after stripping down all the tape here and stuff it's actually in pretty good shape overall maybe hit it with a, a little super glue in a couple spots where it's a little dinged up uh, just to kind of bring that portion back together maybe a little sanding down here near the blade I'll give you a little more close up on the blade here but this guy should turn out to be pretty sweet and again just be a nice little relic for our own personal hockey hall of fame around the house so just a little close-up view of the uh, damage to the heel here. You can see it's pretty beat up, but to be honest, this thing's built like a tank. Uh, it'd probably go on for a long time without breaking, uh, even today. Uh, but you never know, right? But check that out, a little damage there to the toe. And, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and do a little patchwork on that just to make sure it looks uh, nice and tight and sharp uh, when we put it back together. All right, so if you're just joining us again, we're checking out this old-school Gordie Howe glass-fused Northland hockey stick. This thing is pretty dope. I found it in a thrift shop and I peeled some old tape off it and uh, basically just restoring it. Now I just want to point out that 
this is pretty cool for me because I am a Red Wings fan, and of course, having some kind of old school Gordie Howe stick like this, I, I doubt there's a whole lot of these around. You know, I'm sure you can find them, uh, but uh, finding them at a thrift shop or in a you know somebody's garage sale or something like that always makes that piece just a little extra special. And of course, like I said, I just want to go ahead and revamp it here and kind of get it back to square. Right, so I'm just going to put some super glue in this part here just to kind of make sure that that old wood in there is really kind of sealed up good and locked in tight. I'm going to do that to both locations here and just kind of strengthen that wood that's kind of chipped and cracked in there uh, before I maybe do a couple other things to fill that in. But I uh, think here that it's going to give some strength and just make sure that if I do shoot a puck or something like that, it's not going to break the stick. This is a nice little shot here. You can see whoever's stick this was before definitely uh, like to chop, uh, do some chopping on some people or something like that. You can see that gash right there. Look at that. Jeez Louise, there's even a crack in the uh, stick there a little bit. So, you know, you can see this thing is definitely tough, but took some abuse uh, from somebody who liked to throw down some lumber there. Interesting stuff. Put that stick in his teeth, let him know you're there. One in these little cracks uh, in between the, the wood and the fiberglass, and uh, kind of sure enough those locations that are a little beat up. Again, you can see the, the toe here has definitely got some abuse. Uh, but we'll just take care of this a little bit and just uh, sure it up and just to kind of make sure it's not going to fall apart or get worse from here on out. All that super glue in there is really kind of helping sure up that wood. I'll just sand it down. I'll hit it with a little clear coat and uh, just make sure that, uh, you know, just sealed over, looks good, just looks clean, it's not going to stab you. The other thing about this stuff is that I've got a couple pieces of fiberglass, uh, you know, shards in my finger, you really got to watch that, so I should be probably wearing some gloves or something to protect my hands from the fiberglass, but I'm not trying to get too crazy with this here, I just want to make it to where it's not going to stab anybody when they're handling the stick, checking it out. Progress here on the sanding here, I'm just going to give you a little wipe down. Getting all that sawdust off there, be sure you're wearing your mask. And of course here you can see that we're just looking a little better in those spots. A little sanding down, nothing special, but it's not going to stab anybody anymore and uh, get anybody else any fiberglass in their fingers like me. it's about good I don't want to go too crazy and take away from the integrity of what was but uh, just again want to make sure that we're not spiking anybody or anything with a chunk of fiberglass and that old blade it's still hanging on but yeah pretty cool throw a little clear coat on there just to uh, make sure that we're just kind of keeping everything locked tight again locking down any of those fiberglass shards wanting to come out of here out of the end which uh was pretty abused by whoever actually used the stick in real life so pretty cool though just take a little look at the fix here as it's drying see here that uh i got the crack kind of filled in with that super glue pretty good sorry about the focus there and uh yeah it's not looking too bad after a good sanding and uh i hit that with some more super glue in there uh, just to make sure it was nice and hard and uh sanded it down sprayed it with the clear coat and I think it's going to help a lot. All right, so just a little bit of a close-up view of the fix here again. Uh, just put that, you know, full of super glue, kind of sanded it down, got all that excess, uh, you know, fiberglass shards and whatever off there. And uh, I think it's a lot better without taking it too far and uh, taking too much off the stick as it is. Um, and it's kind of blends right in there. But again, preventing anybody from getting uh, stabbed or sharded if they tried to... Uh, pick up uh, the stick that's a good question is sharded a word <laughs> all right so she's pretty much cleaned up good to go did a little super glue work here and there I think I'm just gonna leave her as is I don't think there's any need to tape her up or anything like that just to keep her like she was coming off the shelf so many years later let's take a couple shots and see how she works all right so we're gonna give her a little try here in the old garage and see how you're here today and that's her time. Yeah, uh, he'll definitely maybe cross-set somebody in the mouth. 
or something with this piece here, maybe shot a lot of slap shots, but it was definitely a little soft through the middle, but she still has some good width. And I think I get some good wrist shots off of it. I definitely will shoot. For what it's worth, I'd say somebody got their $34.99 worth out of that stick before I got my hands on it, but uh, still got some life left in it. Still can fire a puck pretty hard. That'll probably be the last puck that fires for a long time. Thanks for watching.